All right, so the last demo of the day is a raster demo. Um, in this demo, we're going to take a set of tiled rasters, raster files, we'll mosaic them, and we're going to write them to an ArcSDE geodatabase raster data set. So I think this is probably the only um, piece of the demo that couldn't be done in the interoperability extension, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. That's a good point, Mark. So raster formats are not available in um, data interoperability. Um, I think it's probably the only probably, one probably of the only few kind of data that's of not functionality in FME that's not included in the interoperability extension. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are we doing here? We've, we're mosaicing a number of tiles. Let's take a look at, uh, I'm going to show you just in Windows Explorer here what data I'm, I'm going to be working with. We're moving away from the uh, navigation data now because we didn't have any rasters in there. I'm going to be working with some rasters in uh, this particular folder here. So these are all tiles of raster data. My workspace is actually just reading the first four tiles there. Okay, so we've, we've seen how to do that um, with a reader, um, how to read from multiple um, files at once. So I've got four of them there being read by this particular feature type here. I've got my GeoDatabase SDE raster data set writer in here. The one thing I'll point out um, is that I'm using Direct Connect. Um, by default with ArcSDE 10.1, Direct Connect is the default way now to connect to databases. Um, so if you do have existing workspaces where you've set up a three-tier connection and suddenly you can't connect, it's probably because your administrator is uh, upgraded to SDE 10.1 and suddenly you've got to make a direct connection. Now um, there is a way to uh, add that ArcSDE service so, so you can still uh, work with a three-tier connection, but uh, the thing to do is just check with your ArcSDE administrator on that one. Okay, and. Um, the feature type properties here when we're writing to uh, SDE here, I just wanted to point out uh, the format parameters here. So you can set the compression type uh, for this uh, raster. You can set the quality of the compression. You can set the resample type. These are all, you see all of these in our catalog as well, and also the pyramid level as well. I'm just going to go with all of the defaults. Let's just change the name of this to, um, I'll just call it raster demo instead. This table. And uh, we can just go ahead and run this workspace. Now, this takes a little bit longer to run. So while this is running, um, I don't know, maybe we can do a little bit of the, the Q&A here. Do we have any interesting questions that have come in from the audience, Robin? Yeah, I think one of the uh, questions around the raster would be, um, what would be the resolution of the mosaic and what went into the, um, the destination mosaic that we're writing to SDE here? And I think that is the first one in WINS, basically. Mm -hmm. So the first image that comes into the mosaic sets the resolution for that mosaic, and then that is the raster resolution that ends up in your SDE. So all following images would be um, matched and uh, resampled to that uh, first image image in that uh, mm -hmm. set the, and is there the a way to uh, is there a way to control the order that of rasters that go into the raster mosaic or then yeah you'd have to use a sorter or something like that you'd have mm -hmm. to pick out um, like if you want it to have the highest resolution or the lowest resolution you'd have to pick out some of the format attributes and sort by resolution and uh, have the the rasters ordered in that way or something like that mm -hmm. okay Okay, well our workspace is still running, but I did preload this data beforehand if you don't want to wait for this thing. Um, so why don't we just do that and then we can uh, finish off the uh, final few slides there. So uh, I thought it would have been finished by now, but it hasn't. Um, okay. So I did load it earlier into this uh, SDE JPEG 2000 uh, feature class there, and uh, we'll just uh, go with, oh, now it just finished. All right, let's just take a look at my new data that I just wrote. Let's do a quick refresh here on our SDE, and this is the raster demo that we just wrote, and let's take a few seconds here for this raster to display. So remember I had four tiles of data, so basically that's the top of a, a much bigger image, the top four tiles of a much bigger image that we just loaded. Okay? Yeah, great. Excellent. 
So that uh, brings us to the ends of, end of our demos. Um, we have a few slides. Uh, oh, maybe I should do a little of this last slide, actually, the raster view slides. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do with rasters in FME. There's, if you look at the raster category and the transformer gallery there, there's uh, lots and lots of raster transformers. We have an excellent FME PD at raster landing page as well. Whoops. has tons of great examples of um, things you can do with rasters inside of FME.